So um, a couple of months ago, Gary and Darcy and I filmed a segment that, was, that had to do with war pitch. Now, I really like um, t addressing war pitch in a piece as a team. I, I like the fact that when you have two people to do the job, that your timing is a little bit more manageable. So many people said, what if I don't have a teammate? What if I'm in my studio all by myself and I have a piece that's warped? Am I gonna be able to do this on my own? Well, yeah, you can do it on your own. I've done lots of pieces on my own. I just like to have somebody here with me when I do it. This is how you're going to flatten a piece that is warped if you don't have a teammate. So if you're gonna do it all by yourself, this is how you're gonna do it. So um, you can see here I have a firing rack. You might catch a glimmer on there that there's a little bit of enamel on this rack. <clears throat> so when it's hot, it's gonna be sticky because there's enamel on it. So I'm gonna put down this firing cloth on there. And then I've got a piece of mica here, and I'm going to put this hanging off of here like this. And then my piece that is warped is going to sit on the firing rack, on the mica, so that when I take it out of the kiln, I can grab hold of the mica and pull the mica off onto the tile and then flatten it with my, um, with my iron on the tile. So when I'm about ready to take the piece out of the kiln, I'm gonna move this iron down to this position so that um, it's in a handy place for me. Um, it, normally I like to leave it on the top of the kiln and let it be as warm as possible when I touch it to the top of the piece, but I can't get my timing good if I'm here by myself and I'm trying to, to manage the firing fork, a pair of tweezers, and the iron. Now, if my timing is a little bit off and it cools off too much while I'm trying to get myself pulled together, then I won't be able to flatten it. So the good news is, is that if that happens, I just take the piece and put it back in the kiln and then we start all over again. Okay, so it's not that big of a deal if, if my timing is off and I fail the first time. Okay, all right, so there's my setup. I'm gonna move my piece back onto there a little bit. You ready? Let's do it. Okay, the kiln's at 1425 degrees. I'm gonna fire this for two minutes and 20 seconds, which is a little longer than a normal firing. Okay. So if you wanna go get yourself a cup of coffee while this is firing, go do it now. <laughs> All right, I got about 10 seconds left, so I'm gonna move my iron to here. I'm gonna pick up my tweezers in my left hand. I'm gonna turn off my timer. Hey, I think we did it. Made that look easy, didn't I? <laughs> I put it up here, uh, instead of leaving it on the cold tile, I put it up here so that it could cool down in a little bit more natural of a way. And uh, I don't know that it really makes any difference, but it's just the way I've always done it. So 
Uh, I'm gonna check and see if this looks like I got the warpage out of it. Yeah, I think we did. I think we did a good job. <laughs> well, I might have to wait for this to cool to really see, but I, I think it's going to be good. Yeah, it looks it looks really good. It's really good.